Then there's certain individuals, they fall into it. They lost their job, they have to quickly start something. Bam, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not knocking the hustle on it, but I'm knocking the mindset behind it. If you decide you wanna come off the road and you can't be bothered to sit in the classroom, then I'm gonna knock your thing if you decide to be a window cleaner and that. You put on, you think so you put on this earth to clean windows, you're put on this earth to clean a man's car. Laziness, man on rate laziness, you know. I don't wanna work. I don't wanna work. But you know what? I put in the work to say, yeah, I don't need to work now. Because there's a lot of people out here cannot say that they worked four and a half months straight every day on a fucking construction site to the point where my managers wanted to ban me, you know. They wanted to ban man, you know. They wanted to ban man from the construction site on the weekends. Same with the forex trading and that. There's bear man who side, decide, you know what? I don't want to sell drugs no more. I've been banned. The police them are watching me. It's hot. So you know what they do? They still do not go and get a skill or trade. You know what they do? They start trading on Forex. They start investing in Bitcoin, all these kind of foolish money making schemes and that. Because they're lazy. So I made that video. You know, I had a guy hit me up on IG yesterday. This is someone that I've been speaking to here and there over the course of a year. Um, I give them advice here and there. A man was asking me, what's the best way to go about getting an apprenticeship to become a tiler. I told him no. The fuck you want to be a tiler for blood? I asked him. How many GCSEs you got? How many A star to C GCSEs you got? Eight. I told him blood. Do not become a fucking tiler blood. Now this you. I've never seen him. Obviously on IG. He ain't got no profile picture up or nothing like that. I don't know what this you looks like. But I know. I've spoken to him a few times. Heard his voice and that. I know. He's of ethnic minority. I don't know if he's black. I don't know if he's Asian. I don't know if he's a Mali. But I know he's an ethnic minority. You don't know why. I can just tell by the way he talks. I was telling him, blood, you know how much people from wherever country you're from, yeah, who don't have no education, they ain't got no education facilities. You know how much people from your country that are from poor backgrounds would love to be in this country so that they can educate themselves. And you're going to waste it. You've got eight. A star to see GCSEs. Bro, you got a brain on your shoulders, fam. You're going to fucking waste it becoming a fucking tiler. I didn't even know they offer apprenticeships in, in tiling, you know. But that's something that you can learn on fucking YouTube. I learned how to tile on YouTube. A man actually want to waste their time going to college to learn how to tile. Yeah, you will get a job out of it and I get it. But blood, you can do something much better of yourself than fucking on your hands and knees tiling all day long. Again, if you're from back home, Jamaica, wherever in it, yeah, Africa, parts of Asia, and that, and you're a tiler over there and you come over here, that's different. But this is why I was getting onto the man in the video where I'm talking about why the fuck would you be born here, but yet still you want to become a window cleaner and that. You're wasting your opportunity, fam. When a man got eight GCSEs, blood, eight A star GCSEs, blood, a man want to become a fucking Tyler, blood. The youth's got more than me, fam. I only got five A star GCSEs, A, A star to C GCSEs. Furthermore, I got five C's, yeah. I think science is two, English is two, and maths is one. But anyway, I got five. I got two passes in product design. And a pass is equivalent of, equivalent of a C. But I've got five official A star to C. And I was bothered enough to sit my ass in the electrical classroom. Yeah, the youth were saying, oh, you know, I'm done with classrooms and that. Nah, fam. The classrooms ain't done with you. You got you better sit your ass in the classroom. I know, it's long. It's boring. It's long. But studying for happen, fam. If you was really not there, you would not have been able to get A star to C GCSEs, blood. So therefore, you're capable. Now, dare a man think, oh yeah, I'm going to do an a, a apprenticeship in Thailand, fam. Nah, that's something you can learn on your own, fam. I learn off of YouTube. Let me show you. I'm in my flat right now, yeah? And I've got... I've got a pizza on. Let me show you. Right. So I tiled my kitchen. Well, this is obviously I'm in my flat, so I was gonna say my kitchen floor. I tiled the kitchen floor in the flat. 
Hope you look and see that properly. I'll show you the bathroom. So that's the bathroom. I bought those tiles there from um, Wix. These are from B&Q. This is a ladder that goes into the loft. These are from B&Q. And then I've got the same. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I've got the same downstairs as you enter the front door and that. Blood, this is what man learned off of YouTube. How dare a man think, yeah, I'm going to go to college and learn tiling and that. I didn't even know that they offer courses in tiling. That's something that you can just pick up. A lot of men that do tiling and that, they probably started off as a plasterer or something like that. And then they are on construction sites with man or they know someone and they just learn by watching man. Learn by helping man. And you want to go and sit your ass in a classroom, even for a year, waste a whole year of your life. Just to do something that you can learn on YouTube. This is why I don't rate man that do stupid cleaning jobs and that. Like I said before, if, because right now we're in a recession and that, if man lose their careers, lose their jobs and that, because they're office workers and they think to themselves, you know what, I need to just start something, uh, start a quick business and that, uh, I can't find a job. That's different. But there's a lot of men out here who are lazy, they cannot be bothered to study. So they decide to become a window cleaner or a fucking carpet cleaner. Some bullshit jobs. So a minute, you live in this country, the land of fucking opportunity, and the best thing that you could have became was a fucking window cleaner, bro. Don't get it twisted. Tiling is a satisfying job. I love tiling. And I hope I'm not gassing up no one to become a tiler or nothing like that. I love doing tiling. I love, I love the job. I love the way it looks afterwards and that. I love tiles. In my yard, I've got tiles in the, the toilet downstairs. I've got tiles that I've done. So I've done the, the tiles in the toilet downstairs. I tiled... The, the hallway foyer where I got the Jamaican flag, I tiled the um, kitchen and that. I love tiling. But there's no way man will be going to, to college to waste my time studying to become a fucking tiler and that. I told you either do electrical course or do um, to get on to become a gas engineer, you kind of need to go down the plumbing route sometimes. Yeah, so you need to become a plumber. And then you can do your gas. So put it this way, all gas engineers, they know how to do plumbing. All gas engineers, 90% of them have started off as a plumber. So they started off as a plumber and then they've gone to become uh, a gas engineer. Because you need to know how water works and that. To become a heating and gas engineer. Because obviously boilers, they use um, water and that. So yeah, I told them to either do one of those two. We, can, we don't need painters and decorators. We don't need tilers. We don't need uh, fucking plasterers and that. We need electricians and gas engineers. Yeah, we're the most important tradesmen. Because without electric, you think you can charge your phone to fucking watch my video? You think you can sit in a warm house without a gas engineer to sit and watch my video comfortably? So gas engineers, electricians, the most important. And when I say gas engineers, I also mean plumbers as well. They're the most important. We don't need no tilers. We don't need no plasters and that. Yeah, we don't need no painting and decorators and that. We need a roof over a blood clot head. Yeah, and electric and gas and um, plumbing and that. And even that, even then, I'll say electricians are more important than gas engineers because you can get electric boilers. You can get electric radiators. The people that are probably living in houses right now that have no gas, no gas supply because they live in a flat. Uh, I can't believe a man want to ask me about. And obviously, I said to him, listen. I don't even know if he's ready or replied back. Yeah, I need to check my DMs and that. But I said to him, look, if you really want to go down that route of becoming a tiler, then, because one college wasn't offering him, offering him um, an apprenticeship unless he was, um, I can't remember, was he? I can't remember. There was some issue, something along the lines of the, the college wasn't going to offer him um, an apprenticeship until he started, um, or I think the college weren't going to offer him the course until we found an apprenticeship. Some issue in it. So I just said to him, look, you have to go elsewhere. But yeah, man, I can't believe a man wants to do Thailand. And I was saying to him, blood, whatever country you're from, I know you're an ethnic minority in that, yeah? There's people from your country that, blood, would love to have the opportunity to study. And you're going to go and waste it because you can't be bothered to get your ass in the classroom. No, get your fucking ass in the classroom, blood. Studying is dead. Studying is boring. Some people love study, 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 but not me. 
But you know it's got to be done. I've done my level two in electrical installation. I've done my level three electrical installation. I've done my advanced apprenticeship level three in electrical installation. I've done my inspection and testing course in electrical installation. I went to uni, I've done a HNC. I studied for five years to get to where I am. And I've got two properties right now. I'm in the process of completing a third. I've got another property in Egypt. If I never became an electrician, if I never could be bothered to study and thought, you know what, I'll just fucking be a bus driver or be a window cleaner. Do you think I would earn the money that I, I do now so that I could buy properties? Anyway, stay wise, don't know.